Hey guys, Luna here. Welcome to episode 41 of the Fallout Settlement Guide and today we are back at the castle. Now in the last episode we got started on our raider camp and we started to build the outside and we also got done a little bit on the outside and you've obviously already seen all this stuff. We've got all of these, we have our main entrance, we've done up these stairs and we have some of the new stuff. All these poles and things that we got, they were part of the new update. So we also added in our cannons, so we can fend off the Brotherhood of Steel when they come for us. And we also decided to build some stuff down here, which we've not done yet. So we've still got space there to build. And if we go on to the inside, you guys can see that it's looking pretty cool in here actually right now. If we take a look over this way, I've decided, I think in the last one I built a little bit of this, but I decided to go and finish off a little bit more since the last episode because obviously I build when I'm not actually playing. So what I decided to do was, as I said before, we can get all these kind of sharp edges, loads of spiky looking parts to it, and I want to build up the way from this little middle tower. I wish it was a bit taller to be honest, but we'll make do. And I want to make kind of platforms with buildings. I can't decide, and you guys can let me know, whether to build buildings like here and just cover up the bomb part or whether just to leave it kind of like this and open so if you kind of if i show you what i mean i will get some floor so if we get rid of that i can't decide whether to build here like this um i will get that to fit in and you know, like once we do that, and then we've got another space to put a building on. So we'll see what that looks like. Could you build? I can't remember if before you were able to build when there was fence on a wall. Because I don't remember being able to, but I can now. Anyway, if we just take out one of these prefabricated houses, I don't think we'll get the big one in. No. So we build that right there. Or maybe. A different direction so we can keep it interesting because we don't want it to be the same as the one above you know what I mean so you guys can decide whether you like it that way or not but for now I'll just change it back to the way it was so we can get rid of all of this floor in the next episode I will have some more of this built obviously because I think we'll just continue on the Raider camp before we do anything else and um, I'll put the fence back in later so I'm happy with what we have so far. What I need to do now is I'm just going to continue on. Uh, let me get the metal one because we're using metal. Just so I don't waste loads and loads of wood. Wait, yeah, I use less wood for the metal one. So what we need to do now is I need to start on another side. Like, say, over this side. And this worked out really well because the bottom part when you place it down and you put the one on top it actually turns pretty much level with the wall here so it's turned out very very neat looking and as you guys know when it's nice and neat that makes me happy when i'm building so what we have to do now is we have to continue this on somewhere and let me think i just can't decide on what way to do this it's because the middle part you can't get rid of it and obviously that's facing a certain direction but the walls they're facing up direction because like some kind of pentagon shape five sides yeah i can count five sides so it's very very awkward i'd much rather have them all kind of in the same direction so it's geometric that's the word i'm looking for i like them on geometric but it just isn't if we take a look over here while we're up here there's nothing in these houses Obviously, when I get to the decorating stage, when I get more decorating done, I will add stuff into there. I had to put a little bit around this back part, so the pole for the tent over the top had something to stand on. But it still looks pretty good. And again, I'm pretty sure like we could do something like this, so we can attach it all together. We got some stairs, I'm sure they'll attach on somewhere. Let's see? Perfect. I love it when things work out. So we've got a little bit there to go up to here. And I'm guessing it's not going to work from the other side, but we could try it. I can't tell if it's really close. No, it's not. 
So I worked on one side, but we'll make do with that. So I have to get out some of these prefabricated ones and we will decide where we will build them. All right, guys, so we have to decide on which way we're going to start building our platform. I think we will continue on from here. We won't be able to attach these on because obviously this pylon thing that goes up in the middle is in the way. But I want to give you guys a little tip here. If you're trying to build these and either you can't get to place because it just won't turn green, which I'm not sure why it doesn't really happen that often. Or if you can get on top and it's really, really difficult to get it to go straight, which is a problem because if it's not perfectly straight when you build them along the way, then they're not going to be aligned, okay, with the bottom part. So these ones are all going to be in one direction and the one above, if it's not completely aligned, they're going to go off in a different direction, if that makes sense. So if you're having one of those problems, what I like to do is if you take out just a staircase, and uh, let me find them here, if you can get the place down somewhere like that, okay, then if we take out one of the prefabricated QB things, it will attach onto the staircase and it will also be perfectly aligned because the staircase is perfectly aligned with the bottom part. See, this bottom part is perfectly aligned to this one. Obviously, that's perfectly aligned with that one because they're attached to each other. And so the top half is going to be perfectly aligned and also it has something to attach onto so you can place it down if you're having problems placing them down. Okay, guys, so that's just a little tip that I uh, use. I don't know if anyone else does that or has used that tip before, but that's just something I do. So we can continue this on. We want to go for the middle one. We will go as far as it will let us. And I might have to use some kind of glitch to get that to go through that wall. We can destroy that staircase for now. We'll destroy all those. Okay, so in the next episode, guys, I will have this built up the way. And I think I'll make it one higher than this one here. So it's going to be... That's one, two, three. This one's going to be one, two, three, four. Four, and then it will have kind of similar looking houses to this with the tents but they will most likely be facing the opposite direction just because it will look cool that way i guarantee it and just before we finish i want to take a look at this because it's kind of an ongoing thing that we're looking for that is everything that i have i'll take those because i put those there that's everything that i've had since the last time i recorded so I haven't had too much stuff from the scavenging, but I did realize that for some reason, Nick Valentine, who I have here, he's one of the scavengers. He did unassign himself for some reason from the scavenging station. So I did only have one scavenger since the last episode. But what I'll also do for the next time, I'm gonna set up a recruitment radio beacon so we can attract some more people so I can set up more scavenging. And that way we can tell just how much stuff we're gonna get. I hope the first time I done it wasn't just a, like a fluke or they just give you more the first time that you scavenge because we do need quite a lot of stuff if we're going to keep our material levels up quite high. Anyway guys, I hope you are enjoying this build so far. Let me know in the comments below. I haven't added in too much of the scavenger, raider, um, super mutant stuff because I don't have too much of the ingredients that we need for that, which is skulls, okay, materials. So we need a lot of skulls for a lot of this stuff and I just don't have them. But I will do that at the end. I will go out and I'll find loads of skulls and we can decorate this place with a lot more of the new stuff like the shopping trolley full of guts and gore bags and all that enjoying stuff. Anyway guys, as always, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next episode. Bye guys.